24, uh, just coming up to uh, 2200 hours UTC as we can see in Starry Night here. Uh, we're going, in this video we're going to take a look at the uh, SLU telescope and uh, I've got a book and we're going to be looking at Jupiter. So we can see Jupiter is high in the sky from the uh, Canary Islands. I've got my field of view set to uh, Mount Taide which is uh, in Spain, Canary Islands. And uh, now we're going to go to the SLU interface and as we can see I've got a booking uh, here which is next up um, at 22.02 is the time of my booking. Now what we're going to do, we can see that the, uh, the observatory time here in UTC, 2200. There's currently a mis one mission ahead of mine, each mission is five minutes. And uh, we can join any mission if we're a, a SLU member and that's what I'm going to do by hitting the green button here. This opens the mission interface with SLU and we're loading up the, uh, the and showing other people where it's located and the what it looks like. Here, which is commentary. And they when we land on the mission comments. interface, they, they look at their favorite deep space objects. We see the all sky camera to start with. I'm going to go to the high mag camera and we're looking at the current mission, which is, as you can see, is counting down. It's got 25 seconds left and then my mission will be up next. While we're in this view, we can go to a full screen mode and see uh, the, the, what the camera is seeing there with, uh, with the full view. If we just click on that, we're back to the interface. We can also take snaps by just clicking on the, on the snap picture button there, and that's saved to my pictures. Now this mission is ending, and now we've got Jupiter, which is my mission. We can see the, um, the data here on the object that we're looking at, and we've got five minutes in the mission. As we can see, the, the image that is loaded up from the start is black and white, but um, as the camera is gathering light, then after a couple of minutes, then we will see the colour coming in, and uh, Jupiter will, will look quite spectacular in this view. Again, I can go to the full screen mode, and there is Jupiter. We can see two of its moons here, and we can clearly see the, the cloud belts. Now the telescope that is, is being used by SLU is on an equatorial mount, which means that there is no field rotation of the planet as it travels through the sky or as the Earth rotates. So the image that we're seeing here is, um, is accurate as far as its tilt is concerned. Um, we can judge the tilt by the cloud belts on across the face of the planet. So we're now um, down to uh, 3 minutes 45 remaining of our mission. And you can see that the colour is starting to come in now. I'm going to snap a picture that will be saved to my pictures. And um, we've got the control panel down here. We can tune the display if we want to. We can adjust the contrast and um, different settings, brightness, the hue, saturation. We can reset everything. Um, I'm going to take another picture. Now the good thing about SLU is that the uh, you don't have to wait days and days to get an image. You can usually book either later on the same day or the next day. Um, and the other good thing about SLU is that if somebody else, if another SLU member is looking at an object that, that you are interested in, then you can piggyback off their mission and you can take pictures via the interface that we see here. So you don't have to wait. Uh, days or, or sometimes weeks for your own images to come through. You can take images pretty much any time you like um, as long as the, the object that you're interested in is being targeted by somebody else or you've made a booking for it. So there's about two minutes remaining on this mission. Let's go full screen again. So we can see we've got a nice view of Jupiter and two of its moons. Let's have a quick look in um, Starry Night and I'm going to zoom right in to Jupiter. This is going a bit slower because we've got so much happening at the moment. And as we can see from the simulation in Starry Night, we can see that the, the cloud belts are pretty much the same as what we're seeing in, um, in the SLU interface. And we can see Io and Ganymede there. So again we can see that the image that we're seeing in Starry Night actually agrees with what we're seeing in the, the SLU robotic telescope. So there's no questions there about whether Starry Night is accurate or not because we can see that they both agree. 
we've got just over a minute remaining on this mission and after that I'll take you out to the main interface of the uh, slew launch pad. I'm going to take another image now because we've we've got this um, imaging meter here okay and you can see it says 90 91 percent this is the amount of light that it's gathering so now we're up to 93 percent I'm going to take another image got 44 seconds remaining in the mission and gain another look there with a uh, bit of nice image of this is a simulated image in Starry Night of course um, whereas this is a real image in SLU. I'm going to take you out to the main interface now. This is the main interface and um, here are the reservations. You can go into reservations here and review your own reservations. These are ones I booked for later on today and these are reservations made by other people. And if I scroll down, this is one of my own reservations in the blue, and these are available reservations, which is what I was saying earlier. You don't have to wait days and days to make a, re a reservation on SLU, and you can piggyback on other people's missions. There's an index here which gives information about the, the different launch pads and sites. Canary Islands reservations, Chile reservations, it'll give you information about the weather and also the specifications of the different telescopes being used. These are the um, two telescopes, Dome 1, Dome 2, Canary Islands and then they've got another site in uh, Chile. So here are all the details for the telescopes. At the moment we're using Dome 2, so this is a 0.35 metre schmidt cassegrain telescope that we're using. Now my mission has ended, but I'm going to piggyback off another mission. So I'm just going to join the mission and loading up the, the viewer. Okay, now somebody has, uh, this is a coordinate to mission. To point to a desirable object. This is a coordinate mission. So somebody has actually entered coordinates for an object that they want to view. And as I said earlier, you know, if there's an object that I want to take pictures of, I don't have to wait days and days for my own booking. I can simply piggyback off this person's uh, mission. So I can take images here, just snap the button, and uh, again I can go full screen. And uh, now it's interesting, I think we're going to see some CCD pixel um, bleeding or blooming here. You can, you can see the, the light that's actually starting to come down here. We may actually see a, a spike of light coming in on this one as the camera images this, this star. We can move left and right in the viewer here if we need to shift things around. And we can control the zoom as well. So that's an overview of the SLU telescope. Um, it's worthwhile signing up with SLU because you get some great images as we could see with Jupiter before. Um, let me just go back again to the where it shows my images. Uh, here's my pictures folder and um, here's one of my snapped images. The other thing that you can do when you save your images so you can personalize your photos, you can select any of the, the items here just by checking them. And of course it will have your name, your username on the image. I just need to go apply and that will add that to the photo. And then you can download the image or you can share it via Facebook or Twitter. Um, there are various options there. So as you can see they're nice clear images of Jupiter. They're not overexposed, they're not full of image bleed and uh, best of all you've got regular access to these images you don't have to wait a long time so that's the SLU space camera I recommend it um, I hope you found that interesting and uh, as usual check out my Facebook discussion page I'll put a link in the description area for you that's voices of reason to explain X or vortex thank you for watching hello YouTube today is January 24 uh, just coming up to uh, 2200 hours UTC as we can see in Starry Night here. 
Now we're going to, in this video we're going to take a look at the uh, SLU telescope and uh, I've got a book and we're going to be looking at Jupiter so we can see Jupiter is high in the sky from the uh, Canary Islands. I've got my field of view set to uh, Mount Taide which is uh, in Spain, Canary Islands and uh, now we're going to go to the SLU interface and as we can see I've got a booking uh, here which is next up um, at 22.02 is the time of my booking. Now what we're going to do, we can see that the, uh, the observatory time here in UTC, 2200. There's currently a mis one mission ahead of mine, each mission is five minutes and uh, we can join any mission if we're a, a SLU member and that's what I'm going to do by hitting the green button here. This opens the mission interface with SLU and we're loading up the uh, the and showing other people where it's located and off what it looks like here, which is commentary. And they when we land on the mission comments. interface, they, we they look at their favorite deep space objects. We see the all sky camera to start with. I'm going to go to the high mag camera, and we're looking at the current mission, which is as you can see is counting down. It's got 25 seconds left.